This is a functional hip flexor stretch. Now it's a very complicated one, so pay attention. There are many different components. You need a place uh, at the end of a massage table, end of your table, uh, or a, uh, a bed, somewhere where you can have some sort of firm uh, feeling of your lower back. You're going to have to lay down for this stretch. Once you lay down, you pull up the leg, which not the one that you want to stretch, the other one. You want to make sure your lower back stays flat on the ground. Okay? Once you're good at this, you can actually lift your arms over top of your head, both of them, like this. That makes it more challenging for your deep abdominal wall. Um, and actually, the deep abdominal wall is very important that it's contracting while you're doing this stretch. Okay? Sorry about the cars behind you, but uh, this is the best spot to do this stretch around here. So, as you can tell, this leg of mine, the other one, the one I'm stretching, is relaxing and it's just hanging there. So what you want to do is have your lower back flat on the ground. You don't want it to arch up. That's the most important thing. You just want to keep it in a neutral position. Then you want to turn your toe up on the leg which, is, which you're stretching. You're turning your toe up and you're turning your foot inward. So you're turning your foot inward and up. And your big toe, you try to curl upward. So doing the so-called dorsiflexion, as you can tell on my toe, I'm doing that right now. Then, you want to make sure your knee is not rolling out. You want to keep it straight. And then you have to focus on breathing and you want to try to relax your hip flexor. Um, the funny thing about this stretch that it's actually an IT band stretch. But for most people, the hip flexors are very stiff and the quadriceps are very stiff, so it takes a while before they can get to the IT band, which is this uh, tissue right on the side of your leg. It goes all the way from your buttocks back to the side of your knee. Um, so this is going to be a, this could be a very very effective stretch for you for your hip and your knee region if you do it frequently. But the most important thing: keep your lower back flat, turn your toe up, uh, bring the other hip up, and try to get some sort of relaxation in your hip without having your uh, your uh, knee rolling out.